Hey everyone, Matt and Oscar checking in. Today we're in Liverpool in the city centre and we're going to be heading down to one of the police stations down there near the Albert Dock and uh, see what's going on down there. We'll be right back. Police station. We'll get a closer look. <laughs> going to go and see the police because my beard's made in my chicken. idea what that is. Someone's calling us. What's that guys? Can he ask what what you're doing? Uh just taking some pictures. Oh. Police vehicles. You can't, unfortunately. Can out in the road, but you can't see because a lot of these people, a lot of these private vehicles. vehicles are private, private vehicles. vehicles. There's no such thing as a private vehicle. Why well, use cars, my private? Yeah, well, I'm not going to use it, am I? What? What's it, what it for? What are you? How using do you it for? know? Eh? What are you using it for? The footage. To put on the website. What Photography way? ones, Flickr, stuff like that. I don't think you can. You're can a policeman, you should know fine well that you can. Ah, right. Oh, you can then, we, I'll just let you know. We can find out for but you shouldn't be taking... We can't stop you outside on a public highway, um, but when you're directing your camera at vehicles, police vehicles and private vehicles... Don't be daft. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There's no law against that. That's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Yeah, just yeah, look into that because that's just like bizarre. Yeah, but when private cars are here. What about when they're driving home? Yeah, that, that's when I when I've got my car on a police headquarters, like I have. Yeah. The last thing I want is my registration number published on websites. Showing that it's parked within inside a police station. But if anyone wants to do anything, surely they just come down, write his yeah, res number, and wait for him. To your house and do it. Might come to well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they wouldn't have to go online to find out. They'd yeah. just come down here in person, wouldn't they? Not they're not going. Well, they're not going to search online to see if, if there's any police. They know where the police work and stuff, don't they? They just do it themselves. It's not rocket science. You wouldn't have to look it up on the internet. You'd just come down here in person. There's nothing to worry about, and they can't trace you or anything, can you? With the DVLA, only the DVLA have got the registrations and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's not to be stressed about. It's. No, it's just our instructions. If we have anybody seen take a photograph, we have to report it. All oh, right, yeah. The pleasant climate, just the way things are. All right. Are you wanting me to hang about, or can I go? No, just bear with us a minute. 
just found it out. You're finding out if I'm allowed to take pictures? Yeah, but I don't want to be on the camera either, because you're pointing the camera at me now. Yeah, I know, but it's what the eye can see, the eye can film. You did call me over in all fairness, didn't you? If you didn't want to be on camera. I did call you over. Yeah, well, you knew I had a camera, so... I'll go and wait over there, all right, and do some pictures. It's a bit mad that isn't it? Yeah. Not many marked vehicles to see knocking about here, it's mostly maybe unmarked cars and stuff. That's the main building. Behind it, you've got Albert Dock, where the program this morning is filmed. I actually don't know if it's still filmed there, but it it used to be filmed there. I recognise it straight away. A lot of tourists go there. We'll have a look at the dock on the way back, Albert Dock. So it's probably not been used for a while, but it'd be interesting if anyone knows what it is, what it's used for. Anything like that. Did you say it was alright? No, they're gonna get someone down. Oh to they're coming way. down. Yeah. Alright, nice one. Coming down to speak to us. Right, see what I've got to say. It's unusual. It's all because I was taking a picture of that. Whatever it was. Mad. Mad stuff. <clears throat> Someone's coming to talk to me now, I think. chatting with a guy that I was speaking to a minute ago. Hey, <clears throat> alright. What's going on? Um, have you said that you wanted to speak to me because I was, as I was coming down, I took a picture of this thing here. Yeah, so what are you taking pictures of? This here, whatever it is. Yes. Yeah. What about all the cars and things? Uh, I took one of that and one of the police car. How come you're videoing us now? I'm just like doing a documentary on the police. Okay, and what's... Just what? wanted to get some footage. Okay, so and what's the, uh, what's the reason you're doing a documentary? It's just for YouTube. And just like police um, uh, abusing Section 43, uh, ab it? abusing the Antisocial Behaviour Act, yeah. So I was just getting some pictures for the... Uh, documentary. Okay, so you've been asked to not film the case, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. So they're police staff, aren't they? Yeah. So they're not police officers, are they? Oh, no, I'm not filming them, I'm filming the police cars. I'm not police cars, aren't doing anything, are they? Yeah. No, I know, but I'm using them for my video. Yeah. You were filming inside, filming them. Yeah, he called me over. Right, okay. 
he called me over. Yeah, I was just here when he asked me to come over. So, and then he said that he wanted me to wait because he wanted to speak to me. Do you have any ID on you? Yeah. No, I don't. No, what do I need ID for? No, I haven't. No, I don't give me details out. Do not? No, just uh, like you're saying about privacy with the cars, and that's my own privacy. I keep them to myself. No personal. Yeah. So you've actually come out to speak to me about taking a picture of the police car? worrying about why you're taking pictures, you see, because you have. I explained to him okay. what I was doing. He's not a police officer, we are. All oh, right, yeah, well, I've explained okay. to you then, yeah. Okay, so, you've got to understand at these times it was... No, not the current climate. Pardon? The current climate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so there isn't anything in the, in the nature of uh, hostile... No, definitely not, no. Okay, no, no, so no. That's, so that's the reason we're coming to talk to you. Right. Okay. Yeah, I just think it's, it's laid on a bit... It's yeah, no, I, just, I still, I think, yeah, but I, again, it's like... Picture of the police cars, the terrorists aren't going to come and blow up a police car. They you know what sort of areas they target. They've never targeted a police station before, have they? Well, look, there's a first time for everything, isn't it? Yeah. And, and if you're taking, you could be saying, I'm not saying you are, or saying it's just like, oh yeah, just interested in the police car, but actually you're taking surveillance, uh, the cameras, the security arrangements you've got, then, then, but then that, we, that's... We, we'd be remiss not to come and speak to you about it, wouldn't we? You can see in there on Google Maps, on Google Earth, yeah, it's yeah. not a problem, is it? Yeah. A terrorist right. wanted to look something up, he'd look on Google Maps, he wouldn't need to go on YouTube and view, view this, would he? I'm, I'm not talking about them looking at what you're putting on there, I'm talking about individual factory coming and doing it themselves, because they do do hostile reconnaissance of facilities and installations, but again, they wouldn't do it at the police headquarters in broad daylight, would they, with everyone walk, walking past? I don't know. And I'd, I'd have made a beeline as soon as he said, oh, someone's coming out to speak to you. I wouldn't have, like, hung around to talk to you, would I? If you use your common sense, you can sort of deduct that I'm not a terrorist. Well, This is what I'm saying about police. Yeah, but you, like I say, you're getting to know me, aren't you? It's, we still don't know who you are, do we? Yeah, well, like I say, it's, it's uh, everyone enjoys your privacy. There's no reason to be, you know, getting me details and stuff like that. It's not going to tell you if I'm going to do anything, is it? But on the one hand, you're saying everybody enjoys the privacy, but you film those gentlemen in there who are uh, who are letting people in and out just at work. And, yeah, well, yeah, I know, but I didn't do it on purpose. That was just because he called us over, though. You potentially you're going to put them on YouTube. So how is that respecting their privacy? Would you be respecting my privacy if you put me on YouTube now? So, so there's a, a counter for, for what you're saying, isn't there? And I'm being quite reasonable with you. Oh, now. yeah, yeah, I'm but... I'm not saying yeah. you're wrong. I'm not saying you're a bad guy. I'm not saying you don't have the right to do it. What I'm saying is it could look like somebody doing hostile reconnaissance. Yeah. We've come to speak to you. I agree. Use your common sense. Yeah, yeah, that's all yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Possibly not. I won't say probably not, because there's no, no certainties in life, is there? I think it's pretty sure. Well, you can say that because you know your motive. Well, I've, I've, been, here, I've studied here. and filmed trains with hundreds and hundreds of people on. No one said, are oh, you possibly reconnaissance since I'm blowing a train up, are you? They don't say a word, do they? It's different, isn't it? Headquarters, the police station's different. View no, because you do it at even little police stations, it's been the same thing. So it's nothing to do with the fact same. it's headquarters. Every, same. Everyone. Have you spoken to, been spoken to about it every time you've done it, have you? No, I've, once before. So you've been uh, what, to once before? Yeah, someone said to us about, uh, oh, what are you doing? And they said, oh, possibly, uh, uh, related to the Terrorism Act, etc. Right, okay. So, yeah, anyway, it's... Tell me, oh, I'm happy. Tell me what your concerns are in relation to the abuse of powers under Section 43. Um, basically, police officers, um, when you refuse to give your details, use it as an excuse to try and find ID and find out who you are. It's, right. If you look into it online, there's uh, a lot of it going on. It's rife. I would say about just over 50-50 will do that. Right. And it's happening to you? So you, you've, you've taken exception with it? or? Oh, no, not at all. No, I'm just documenting it. There's, it, there's a lot of it on YouTube. Is it like a, a crusade of yours? No, no, not at all. No, no. no. I'd be giving you a lot more jip if I was on a crusade of bad mouth <laughs> Simple as that. 
Well, well, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't be having a laugh with you now, would I? No, doing no, this, no. I'd be giving you a load of hassle and saying, jog on, I'll do what I want, blah, blah, blah. But no, 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 you're no, being reasonable. No. Hey, listen, you know, respect works, works both ways. and Yeah, it certainly know, like does, life. yeah, yeah. And that's some, some go like that. Some you get some respectful encounters and other times you just get people that come out, brought their egos to work and uh, they start flexing them just for the sake of it and there's no need. Well, okay. Um, bit of advice. You're going to be filming and taking photographs. Expect to be spoken to. Yeah, yeah, no, that's no you problem, know, yeah. And, and that's us doing our job. Yeah, fair dues, yeah. Um, Obviously, uh, you are caught on the CCTV here. I've not been caught because I've done that wrong. Well, captured, I might be on CTD, but I'm not caught on it. Captured, you've been captured. Okay. Yes. Captured. So you've been captured on this as well. Yeah. You complain. That's cool. Also Cameras are everywhere. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like you say, you just have to get used to them. Yeah. Just have to suck it up. So, so just to tell you in the interest of fairness that, you know, um, you are being monitored like anybody else. No, that's no problem. I'm not, I'm not up to anything wrong, so. I'm cool um, with that. Yeah, you're probably not, but these guys are here to make sure that the integrity of the head of the water is kept. Okay, so we just come in to have our, our lunch and we were close by. So instead of somebody else coming from somewhere, that's why we come to speak to you today. Yeah. We've just come in. In fact, I think you saw us come in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I thought that might have been yourselves, yeah. That, that's, yeah. that's why we come because we are here. All right. Um, it's their job to keep the security of the headquarters. Yeah. Uh, and it's our job to come and speak to you. Yeah, which you've done, so okay. it's cool, yeah. I'm quite happy. Yeah, are you happy uh, as well? Look yeah, after yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. alright, spot on. Yeah, see you later, guys. Ta ra. So that's uh, Merseyside, Liverpool Police Headquarters. Make of that what you will. I think he's now telling the chap behind the window that there's bugger all he can do. So I think he's telling the chap behind the windows there's naff all that they can do. So chap in there, at least he's learnt something new, hasn't he? I wonder if they would have used uh, section 43 on me before I got it in. They seemed a bit passive aggressive, especially the one on the right. Um, he didn't have much to say, but he didn't look happy, put it that way. So I would just hang around for a minute and see if anything else is said. And it'll be time to jump back on the train and go home. And the window gets shut. Right, we'll call that job done. We'll move on out of here. I'm at an Oscar. Checking out. I'll leave you with a beautiful Albert Dock in the background.